What will you do when the most hated company in RC makes a product that you actually want? The Sky Vision HD is FR Sky's new HD Zero monitor. It's essentially an HD Zero VRX with a five and a half inch HD 720p screen on the front with an HDMI output that allows you to connect it and display HD Zero on an even bigger monitor if you should choose. It has a barrel connector and an XT30 input so you can use a LiPo battery or a tiny LiPo battery in order to power it. And it also has the standard HD Zero update port so that you can apply firmware, OSD, and other updates should they come in the future. The interface itself will look familiar if you've used Shark Bytes or HD Zero, although according to Joe Mama, it is missing a few features. Channel navigation and other settings though are very familiar. The buttons and the layout are the same. Well, the included Eagle Patch antennas are a nice choice. For $200, it's essentially an HD Zero module if you don't already have one, although you would have to install it onto the below tripod mount on the bottom to mount it as sort of an FPV HD ground station or wear it around your neck like some sort of HD Zero Iron Man arc reactor. Today's video is sponsored by Into the AM clothing brand. Did they give you these for free? That's right. You know why? Because I'm an influencer. So does this influence you to click the link below? Heck no. No way. What about if I give you this shirt? What did you do to me? Yeah, what about now? Now you click the link below? Now I kind of have to. Now I look at that. Mm. Now I can't give all of you a shirt. You can. But I can give you 10% off if you use the code Johnny5 and click the link below. All this money. Yes. Click the link. Buy about 700 t-shirts for Derek, all. Derek, gonna click the link? I'm gonna click the link. Derek, click the link. Derek's gonna click you it. You got it, guys. The downsides, well, the biggest downside is that it's made by the most loathsome anti-consumer company we've ever seen in this hobby, FR Sky. Johnny F5 here, guys, and today we are checking this uh, FreeSky HD0 receiver. Yeah, what do you think of this thing? So I think it's pretty cool to watch HD0 feed, but it's pretty surprising they didn't integrate analog receiver, which is like a cost of, you don't need even diversity, I guess. But even diversity is like, what, 20 bucks, 20 bucks from from Banggood, like it's pretty surprising they didn't integrate it here. That's true, know. it would have been an easy addition to where yeah. you could monitor everything. It already cost $200, so another yeah. $20. Well, it sounds like easy addition. Maybe they have their own reasons, but it seems like it would be an easy addition. Carl did it on the yeah. event VRX. Two antennas, Two antennas. four channel, analog. four analog, both analog and digital. I don't see so, the reason why they didn't make it here. Be like, otherwise I would buy it for sure. Still a lot of people flying analog, like in Houston. Now I still gotta carry an yeah. analog monitor too. I was only thinking to buy it, but then I'm like, no analog? Yeah, I don't know. Thumbs down, FR mm -hmm. Sky. Yeah, well, I mean, HD Zero, good. Thumb in the yeah. middle, HD Zero, no analog. HD Zero, Thumb FR Sky, so you get this yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. A foul and unpleasant odor. You admit a foul and unpleasant odor. Oh, is that right? You. I loathe you. That's it. Their scummy practices of creating multiple firmware versions that essentially brick all of the compatibility. It's hard to think of another fall from grace by being one of the most loved and adopted products in an industry to going to one of the most hated all because of their anti-consumer practices. They constantly make it so difficult for us to get new people up in the air. Also, the HDMI is output only, so you can't use this in order to plug up your PlayStation 5 and play some games on the go if you're one of the few people on earth lucky enough to actually own one. Will this convince you to make the cardinal sin of purchasing an FR Sky product in 2022 or beyond? For me, it won't, but I'm glad for Joe Mama it did. It was a treat to get to have this, and I'm glad that we have this in our club, in our crew, so that as we do have more HD Zero pilots showing up, we can get their view on the board. The biggest disappointment, though, is the lack of analog receiver. The HD Zero Event VRX has four HD Zero receivers and four analog receivers, and it only costs three times more. Down from where are you from, Joey? From Quebec in Canada. Oh, man. <laughs> You like the nice spot so far? Yes. You he guys... says you're ready to leave here. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, well, we want you to come here. You're already yeah. flying I'll fast. I'll be back for sure. Good awesome, man. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
<laughs> motor still good. Motor. Oh, nice. That, oh, well, so an arm, right? Pop some motor wires. So an arm and a couple of motor wires. Yeah, both yeah. of them broke. Like right what? here. Up here. It's, yeah, it was up here. Oh, that's HD zero. I he guess was... he couldn't see the tree in HD zero, huh? Well, no, he saw. <laughs> he saw it more clearly. It's the most yeah. clear crash you could ever see. <laughs> <laughs> what you saw interference very clear in HD. What do you guys think? Is this the first step of FR Sky reconciliation? Will this convince you to open back up your heart and your wallet towards the once great company? Or is this them ultimately just trying to win us back over with some cheap flowers and chocolates and will ultimately lead to them going back to their wicked ways? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> 